Hi, all Mark from Try Hard Prospecting. How are we doing out there? Today I want to talk about uh, the gold map packs I've been building for prospectors to use in the field. To my website, uh, if you go to tryhardprospecting.com.au, uh, this is where you can uh, look at the maps that are available, purchase the maps, look at other resources I've got online. Um, so yeah, I hope it's of help. On my main page, if we scroll down, uh, I've got a, a nice simple uh, one, two, three steps of how to actually go about installing the maps. First thing you need to do is actually install uh, the Australian Geology Travel Maps from Trilobite. That's the application which will be hosting the maps. I started writing my own app, um, but there were good apps out there already, so I thought rather than support uh, app development, I'll concentrate more on the map packages themselves. It's an Australian designed app um, by a geologist called David, um, top bloke. Um, I've got no affiliation with him, but I've actually fed back a lot of um, improvements in the program, which he's quite happily um, added to make it easier for prospectors. From here, we simply need to select the um, platform you're going to be running your mapping on, whether it's Android or Apple. You can either go to the App Store on your device or the Play Store on your Android device and uh, simply search for Australian Geology Travel Maps or from your device just click on my icon itself and that'll launch the App Store installer for you for the application so rather than trying to find it. Once you've installed it uh, on your P you need to do this on your PC. The map, as I said, the map packs themselves depending on whether you're Apple or Android, need to be transferred from your PC, Mac to your device. And depending on whether you're Apple or Android, the uh, transfer method is slightly different. Clicking on the map icon, you can choose the map pack you're after. I've created six map packs so far, as you can see for the various areas, Denali, Talbot, Kingower, Maryborough, Tarnagulla and Avoca. I'm working on additional areas. I'm working on uh, Bendigo, Ballarat, Castlemaine, Inglewood, Wedderburn, and any other areas people think might be of interest for having map packs available. Each map pack contains uh, various maps. There's a topographic map. There's a detailed geology map. Uh, there's a detailed custom prospector map. And there's also a quarter sheet if available for the area. They're not available for all areas. If they are, I bundle them. They're an old timer, old timers surveyed map, late 1800s, early 1900s. Um, fantastic information. A lot of the information on those maps has actually been missed, dropped on the modern day maps. I tend to use both as a comparison. I'll look at it, my custom map and then I'll have a look at the quarter sheet and just see what see what's missing. There's quite often you'll find gullies uh, which aren't mentioned on the geology or the custom maps but they're on the old timer maps um, worth checking out because there's a high probability less people have actually been to those areas because they're not in the, uh, the tully maps uh, for example there'll be lots of uh, areas not in the maps themselves and they're the areas you want to target as I said they've had less foot traffic all right, what we're going to do is we're going to wander on over and actually have a look at the Trilobite interface before we load any maps. To do that, I've got a simple connection to my iPad. Okay, I've just got an iPad Air 2 here. Nothing spectacular or powerful. Once you've installed the app, you'll have the Trilobite icon. Simply select it it'll bring up the interface for you okay the interface is broken down to be very simple uh, the nice thing is the Apple version the Android version identical no difference the only difference between the two is as I said the way you transfer the maps onto the device I'll very quickly go through the interface uh, it's fully covered in the user guide that David's put together on the main screen you've got your base map selection from here, you can select the base map you want to install onto your device. When you first install it, you'll only have the Apple Maps and the satellite imagery. All the additional maps you're seeing here are maps I've downloaded onto the dev my device. And as you buy map packs, they'll start to appear. And you can use them. All right, moving down a little bit further. 
uh, transparency overlay. Apart from having a base map, you can also have a, a secondary map on top. So it could be, oh, it could be a topographic map. It could be a quarter sheet. It could be a geological map. If we actually select one, we'll select the geology map for Denali. And you'll notice that it's taken over the screen. You've lost your base map. We've got a transparency slider here, which I think is a great idea. If we actually slide the transparency button, you'll see that your map below is starting to come through. This is good for comparing features. The geology map will not be lined up perfectly. It's because of the scale of it compared to Google Earth. There'll be slight offset in it, uh, but the accuracy is good enough for when you're locating features. If you're looking for a reef, when you boots on the ground, you're going to physically see the reef when you get there. We can turn our transparency off just by selecting the transparency button, transparency button, and the, select no overlay. Further down the screen, we've got our waypoint button. We can click on it, click on a spot in the screen, or current, or choose current location and enter some details for a waypoint. Those waypoints can be taken off your device, put into Google Earth for later viewing offline. We've got our follow me breadcrumb trail option. If we select it and we're driving or walking, it's going to leave a breadcrumb behind. It can be handy for finding out how to get back to your car. Um, what area have I covered while I'm detecting? Um, yeah, all sorts of reasons. Something I do recommend, if you're going to be running it for extended periods, having it switched on, they actually put your phone into flight mode and then disenable the GPS. This is going to reduce your battery consumption because, yeah, these devices, or sorry, these apps can actually be quite heavy on batteries. And the last thing you want is a flat phone in an emergency out in the field. Right-hand side, we've got our zoom features. Uh, we can zoom out, zoom in with a plus and minus. We can also pinch, pinch zoom, which everyone's familiar with. In and out, we can rotate our map. We can tilt the map, so it gives us a three-dimensional view. Oh, it's not going to do it for me on this map. We'll get our GPS location. If we touch it, it's actually going to put us on our current GPS location on the map uh, real time. So the idea is you could be walking, driving, and you're going to be moving on this map, which is fantastic when you're looking for areas out in the field. Top right hand side, we've got our compass. If we rotate the map, you'll notice that the north actually rotates, so it's actually true to the map. And we've got our manage downloads. In here, We can select um, what maps we want to install, uh, depending on subscriptions. Trilobite offers a subscription service for certain maps. He also offers some free maps. You can go through the list and have a look. I subscribe to the Western Australian map set because I use that for my business. And he has a lot of good information there for WA, as you'll see, current tenor. WA current tenements, gold deposits, uh, mineral exploration holes, topo maps, etc. You have to pay for that service. Once we get down to the very bottom, we've got what we call the other downloadable maps. These are the maps that you've downloaded yourself. Uh, if it's Apple, you've downloaded them via iTunes. If you're an Android user, you've just simply copied them onto your device with Windows Explorer, for example. If we go through the list, you'll see quite a number of maps that I've installed. You won't have these on your device. Um, these will only appear as you purchase the maps and install them. You can delete a map if you want to simply by clicking the trash can and then saying yes to delete map. All right, what we're going to do is we're actually going to cover how to copy maps onto our iPad. To do this, you're going to have to install iTunes onto your Mac. Also, iTunes comes already installed on your Mac, nice and easy for your Windows user you're going to have to install uh, iTunes. Most people have iTunes, so you can put music, etc., onto your phone or your tablet. Once we launch iTunes, our main screen, 
and we've connected our tablet or phone via USB cable we're actually going to have a little uh, phone icon sitting right here on the toolbar by selecting it it's going to give you a, a tree of files music movies etc on your device itself we're interested in file sharing file sharing is the method of copying files to and from a Apple device in the list of apps you want to select Australian geology travel maps you'll notice here we've got no maps showing what we need to do is we need to actually copy maps onto the device to do this once you've purchased a map pack and downloaded your map pack it's going to end up in your downloads folder we're simply going to double click on your zip file Windows comes with uh, unzip built in or you can use WinRAR or some third party utility to copy the files we're simply going to select all our files and copy them place them in a temporary location you may want to store them for later use to load on a different device give your folder a name and copy your files into your folder once this is finished we're simply going to go back to iTunes we're going to select all the MB tile files these are your map files and these are the ones you want to copy to your Apple device simply drag them across to your folder on iTunes and they'll start to copy depending on your device this could take two or three minutes uh, but it doesn't take that long now the files finish copying you'll see our four map packs sitting in the folder for Australian geology travel maps we need to launch the trilobite app on our tablet or phone before you do that because if you've been running it beforehand you need to close down the application this allows it to reread that folder when you rerun it and actually copy the maps into the right location if we launch trilobite again we will notice these files will actually disappear out of our folder if we select our base map we're not we'll now have Denali custom Denali geology Denali quarter sheet and your topographic map appearing if we select our Denali custom map this loads up the detailed map uh, that we loaded onto the device via iTunes from here we can simply scroll around like we did with any other map and have a look at the various locations that we're interested in if we have a look at this location here uh, Morgan's birthday reef this was actually anyone went to Land Crew a few years ago Andrew Bales actually used this as one of his geology talks uh, just happened to be lucky I guess that I chose the same location once we've got um, our location selected we can change our base map and basically if we select our geology sorry our Denali quarter sheet this is actually going to give us a bit more information it's going to give us information say to indicate that black slate was what the area was typically made up it could be an indicator because uh, typically where the slate and sandstone meet uh, can be where the gold forms uh, where you got contacts uh, direction the reef lines are following and any other details you may look at over here we've got a bit of a alluvial digging again if you see that there and you want to compare it to the modern day map we can go back select our modern day map which happens to be Denali custom and here we are here here's the equivalent of the alluvial diggings showing right there okay so that's the uh, look and feel of the custom maps I'll do a follow-up video for Android users I don't want to keep this too much longer 90% um, of the video is identical uh, the usage uh, of uh, the trilobite app how to download the maps 
uh, is exactly the same. Uh, second video will just cover how to transfer the maps to an Android device and actually get them up and running. So yeah, thanks for um, your time and patience. Um, appreciate your support out there for buying the maps that I'm putting together. I really hope um, you find them of use. I know it's turned me into a um, professional prospector uh, from being a hobby prospector. Uh, research is something I'm really keen about. Technology I love. Um, make it work for you, not against you. Uh, yeah, there'll be lots more um, map packs coming, as I said. I'll be uh, toying up with um, considering offering um, different overlays such as all mine sites in Victoria sorted by whether they were placer, alluvial, hard rock because uh, obviously the, um, the placer slash alluvial type mine sites workings are what we're interested in um, for typically chasing um, gold nuggets. Uh, I'll be looking at offering uh, soil sample overlays. Uh, there's a library of about half a million soil samples available from Earth Resources. Um, I'm looking at categorizing them and actually colorizing them so that you can very simply um, pick uh, anomalous uh, soil samples in certain regions on the map. So it can help you pinpoint where you're actually going to be prospecting. Uh, yeah, so if you're interested in any additional type of overlay features, please drop me an email, send me a message. Um, it, it's people out there in the field that know what they want, what they're missing, what they need can really help me with um, developing um, the map packs. So yeah, look forward to it guys. Happy prospecting, stay safe and talk to you soon. Cheers guys.